we rolling? Yeah, yeah. we're rolling. Okay, right. We get some strange things that we would really trust to say. We did get some of these. <laughs> wow! I woke up one morning with an email uh, telling me that my vintage parcel was going to be delivered to me on that morning from 11.30 to 12.30. Thing is, I hadn't ordered anything from vintage. Um, probably a good two hours later, maybe. Um, a parcel comes to my door and my wife goes outside to get it. She's like, oh, it's like another one of your clothes or something like that. And I was like, I guarantee you it's not. Like, I didn't order anything. Um, so we open the parcel and it's a little toy uh, Lightning McQueen. Wow. So a little, just randomly, a little toy Lightning McQueen. No explanation, no notes, no anything. It had my address on it, my email on it, and and it was like, through the email I got from Vinted, it was like as if I had ordered it from Vinted. But I hadn't. Yeah. My, like, my wife made like a little seance, like, like sage it up, <laughs> to make sure it wasn't cursed, and that was it. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, there's no explanation. Interesting. I mean, I've had it all. I mean, I, I've had a guy come here trying to swap up his uh, gas meter card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I even, a couple of weeks ago, I even had a guy come in thinking we were a loan shop. <laughs> so it's a little bit, he, he do get the win, the wonderful. I mean, he thought we were that much of a loan shop. He went, I'll leave my phone as collateral if you can do me a phone. He's like, we're not a phone shop. We're not a loan shop. Yet. I'll even leave you my gold. I'm like, mate, we're a phone shop. <laughs> All they see is the cigarettes on in the front. And I don't see the electronic bit in front of it. So. Yeah. Yeah, get asked for a lot of tobacco and stuff like that. But yeah, I'll get it on. Hexagons are mental. I'm going to have to use this screen to illustrate how mental hexagons are. Um, so, I'm going to look at the eye of this fly. Right. Undeniably, flies have got cool eyes. And you can see that um, it's broken up into little individual lenses. Individual lenses which are hexagonal shape. And of course, that's, that's, that's banging anyway. And so, I've been looking up, you can see I've been looking up, it's still on my Wikipedia page. There is a huge hexagon on the top of sound. It reflects the fact that there are some very basic physical laws which seem to control, or not seem to control, but seem to have impacts way beyond themselves. Like, for example, like wetlands and stuff. Wetlands being determined by forces for millions of years in the making, and by the same forces that, like, cause asteroids to collide with each other, also cause tides to rise up and soak mangroves. Um, and I don't understand it at all. Um, yeah. So yeah, hexagons. That's hexagons. Um, hexagons. It's confusing the hell out of me. But there's a kind of the physical laws which construct this, like the shape of the universe are definitely, like, I would, I would say, yeah, 13 to 9, that makes quite a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, I mean, he was onto some things, I think, <laughs> Tesla guy. Why would somebody throw a brick through my car window last night? And I could kind of understand it if they had taken something, but they haven't taken anything. But you could be like, oh, they might need the money. And they literally just threw a brick through my window and did nothing. Friday nights. Yeah, Friday <laughs> nights. Crazy. Hey, I'm not a bad person, but the fact that I've never been sent to jail. Um, I've squatted hundreds of millions of pounds of plus buildings. Um, I've ran loads of free parties, been arrested for a lot of them, but never charged. It's all, yeah, it's all been thrown out of court every time. I actually had a flat at the time, but look, my brothers and cousins were street homeless, yeah. and we just there, there was no help, no support, and there was just hundreds of empty buildings. So we looked into the law about it all, and we literally just broke in. When the police turned up, said take us to court, get three months in the building, and then as you get evicted, the you get another one. There's no rules in the squad, so it's complete anarchy. But one guy turned up one day. Um, he was there for just one day, and. He cut his hands, so he had blood all over his hands, and then he put his hands prints on the wall, yeah. fingerprints and everything, and they were like, wanted under it. And yeah, we turned out that he was a, a drug, he was like a massive drug dealer that had been on the run for about two years. Knives, poles, bottles, bricks. I'm a, I'm a complete anarchist, I wouldn't even say outlaw. I, I've got no masters, no slaves, as long as I don't hurt no one, then I see nothing wrong with what I do. 
as long as there's no victims of actions, then I see no wrong doing, and, and that's half the reason I'm being charged because we're pleased by consent. Yeah, so a lot of the laws we have about the statutes, there's something that as a populace we we're supposed to agree to, but if you don't actually accept or understand any of these processes, it's very hard to charge you for these things. If you have no victim, if you understand the law, if you have no victim, there's not really any case against you. We'll get people to come into shops and uh, they'll, they'll, they'll just bring it, say they might bring a dog in or something like that, and uh, without asking, and next thing you know, the dog has messed on the floor and things like that. <laughs> and then they'll just walk out without saying anything. <laughs> they won't even mention it, you know. That's um, absolutely that's absurd. That, that's happened before. Um, yeah, I've had uh, yeah, I've had people come in singing and dancing and things like that. You know, that's just what entertainment.